Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice functional equation. We have f of x over x minus 1 equals x squared over 2x minus 1. And we're going to be solving for f or finding an expression for f of x in terms of x. So let's get to work. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first method. So my first method is going to be pretty standard. I'm going to find the inverse function here. To be able to do that, I'm going to set this equal to another variable and solve for x. So let's go ahead and set this equal to t. So now our assumption is x over x minus 1 equals t. Cross multiply x equals xt minus t. And then since we're trying to solve for x, let's go ahead and put these two together xt minus x and then bring the t on the left t equals that you could also i guess line this up a little bit like this all right so now we were able to uh, isolate x because what we can do is we can go ahead and factor the x out and then finally divide both sides by t minus one so from here t over t minus 1 becomes x, or you could also write it as x equals t over t minus 1. Same thing. Okay, great. So notice the similarity between the expressions. They're kind of inverses of each other. That's what is so special about this rational function. Anyways, so this is x in terms of t, and obviously what we're going to do is we're going to substitute that uh, on both sides. When you substitute on the left-hand side, so we have the original problem is f of x over x minus 1, equals x squared over 2x minus 1. When you replace x with that on the left, you should be getting f of t over t minus 1 divided by t over t minus 1 minus 1. And on the right-hand side, you're going to get t over t minus 1 squared divided by 2 times t over t minus 1, which is 2t, or not 2t, over t minus 1 minus 1. Okay? This is what it turns into after substitution of um, x. Uh, okay. Now on the left hand side, inside the parentheses, we have an expression, uh, two expressions that have the same denominator, so they're going to cancel out. This is going to be t minus t plus 1 over t minus 1. t cancels out, we get 1 over t minus 1, t minus 1 cancels out, we get f of t over 1, which is obviously f of t. And we knew that, right? <laughs> Obviously. That's how we got it. So the left-hand side should not be surprising. It gives us f of t. And f of t gives us what? Let's see what happens. So it, it's this one. It's this one. And then let's see what we get from here. If we simplify this, t squared over t minus 1 squared. And at the bottom, we get 2t minus t plus 1 divided by t minus 1. Obviously, this and that is going to cancel out. And we're going to get the following, f of t equals t squared over t minus 1. And this obviously gives us t plus 1, but that'll be uh, kind of multiplied uh, by the reciprocal. So it's going to just go here as t plus 1. And guess what? That gives us t squared over t squared minus 1. So that is the expression for f of t. But we'd, we would like to express it as f of x, so replace t with x. By the way, these are dummy variables. You can co constantly change the variable. Obviously, this x is not the same x that we had before. They have different meanings uh, because these variables can be, you know, dumped and uh, reused again. So f of x can be expressed as x squared over x squared minus 1, and that's basically going to be the answer we're looking for. All right? So... This is the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So I kind of like the second method better, and obviously you're going to decide which one you like better. Uh, the reason why I like the second method better is because it's not very standard, uh, because the first method is kind of like pretty much works all the time. You know, you're basically replacing the whole thing inside the parentheses with another variable. Obviously, that's going to give you f of t, which you can turn uh, then turn into f of x. So that's pretty standard. The second method kind of looks at patterns, which is, I think, more meaningful, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but anyways. So we're also using um, the same idea, like to for starters. So 
I'm gonna uh, set this equal to a variable, but I'm not gonna solve for x. Make sense? That's the difference. So suppose this is t again, and if you don't wanna use t, uh, you can use z. Okay, that would be fine. Uh, how about that? Let's use z, not use the same variable, because we already used it, it expired. Okay, so we're gonna use z now. So now, f of z gives you this, right? But that's not important. We're not gonna solve for x, so we don't care. Here's what we're gonna do though. We're gonna set this still equal to z. Instead of solving, we're gonna do a little bit of manipulation. Algebraic manipulation, so the idea is, wouldn't that be nice if I had x minus one over x instead of this? Because then it will be separable. As is, it's not, so what can I do? Flip it, right? <laughs> Obviously, we can always manipulate it to get what we want. Uh, manipulate expressions, do not manipulate people. So flip and flip. So we flip on both sides. Now, what is so good about this expression, right? I mean, you might be questioning, like, what am I going to do with this? Well, first of all, I'm going to split this into two terms and then uh, square both sides. Why am I doing it? You're going to see in a little bit. Obviously, if you knew what you were doing, it would be easier. But anyways, this can be written as 1 minus 1 over x. That's what's cool about it. That equals 1 over z. And then we're going to square both sides. Now, when we square both sides, we get the following. 1 minus 2 over x plus 1 over x squared equals 1 over z squared. Awesome. What is so awesome about it? You'll see in a little bit. Now, notice that my expression looks like this, x squared over 2x minus 1. So that's special. And it's actually connected to this, but we got to do a little bit of work. So I'm going to do the following. I'm going to um, make a common denominator for these two terms. That's x squared, so that's 1 minus 2x. If I multiply this by x and that by x, then I'll get it. And I'm going to write it this way. You'll see in a little bit why it's helpful. And now, look at this expression. Oh, I hope this makes sense now. 1 minus 2x over x squared plus 1. And we have x squared over 2x minus 1. If you see what I see, let me know. But you should be able to see that these expressions are very similar. Look at this. We have an x squared at the bottom. We have an x squared on top. We have um, 1 minus 2x and we have a 2x minus 1. Notice that 1 minus, oh, and let me copy that here because I keep going back and forth. Okay, so here's the two things I'm talking about. Notice that I have a 1 minus 2x here and I have, uh, I have 1 minus 2x here and I have 2x minus 1 here. They are opposites, right? A minus B and B minus A are opposites. Anyways, let me just get to work. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to isolate this. So it's going to be 1 over Z squared minus 1. And then I'm going to make a common denominator on the right-hand side. And then I'm going to flip, flip both sides. And then it's going to give me this. And then... I'm going to negate the bottom, or just negate the whole expression. It's going to be x squared over 2x minus 1. Remember, these are opposites, right? And the right-hand side, z squared over z squared minus 1. And I got what I needed. So where did this come from? It came from this. x squared over 2x minus 1 equals this now, right? Okay. Where does that show up, though? It shows up on the right-hand side. So here's what we have. Let's summarize f of x over x minus 1 equals x squared over 2x minus 1. And now, this one is equal to this. Okay, so it's going to be z squared over z squared minus 1. And the uh, left-hand side is f of z. So I got f of z, which means I can turn this into f of x. And that can be written as x squared over x squared minus 1 as big 4. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.